in all the careers of someone who can come out in the final frame and play a frame like that and the shot off the blue to split the pack up in the final frame. Well, well done. done. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, Thank you for that Saturday night entertainment. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. We're just talking about the blue in the final frame that really was the making of that 130, Ronnie. But yeah. tell us how close you felt yourself to going home tonight. I thought I was out. I thought I was out. You know, he's in the balls, 20 up, and he's got a monster kick. And I just thought, oh, you know, and uh, I just thought, I, even then, I didn't think I was going to get back into it, to be honest with you, because he looked the, strong, the stronger cuist, and I was making 50s and 60s and just breaking down. I wasn't able to finish the game off in one visit. And, uh, oh, oh, I don't know. Listen, I'm gutted for Marco because, you know, he's such a, he's a top, he's yeah. the top, top lad. And, um, was the heart racing a bit in the final frame? No, not no. really. And I felt quite calm because I, I, you know, I just stayed focused through the whole match. I spoke to Steve Peters today, and I've been really quite nervous all week, you know, because um, not knowing how I'm going to play sometimes, you know, and it's very patchy. And you know, he settled me down today, and I went out there relaxed tonight. And I just, you know, I was getting frustrated with myself, but I was blanking it quickly and just focused on doing well. And I think when you do that, when it comes to the end of the match, if you've kept that attitude all the way through, then you know, if you I get mean, a lifeline, you great front. in the last frame. Yeah, I mean, you yeah, looked. I mean, yeah, even yeah. the first ready part was just yeah, great yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but I'm, but I'm, I'm we're searching. You know, I'm like, I'm like where's the <laughs> when you, of the white, you know? when you hit the blue, went in between the green and the yeah. brown. You must have known you'd struck it very well. It was going to have a chance yeah. to split the reds. It well, couldn't have split them better. You really. have to hit. I mean, it's not about how hard you hit that shot. If, if you hit it sweet, you can hit it quite soft, and they sort of break it's up. It's the shot now. Look at the way. Yeah, and you also got power in it as well, so you did get a yeah. chance to shift them about. Yeah, I mean, look at that. I mean, you can't. I mean, I've got a bit of form there, you know, but when you hit them all right, you expect to get... And them. even that next red, you had to have the red ball clean. Yeah, because there was a... <laughs> yeah, because you don't normally have the ball when clean. the ref's clean. Yeah, yeah then you're under a bit more pressure. <laughs> no, there was a bit of mist on the ball. I thought, <laughs> sort of wiped it. I just thought, I'll oh, come and just get down and pot, you know, just try and pot the balls, but... Um, we talk about pressure on it, and obviously yeah. you were... Uh, you were in the ascendancy and then suddenly Marco has this massive comeback against you and he was really had the momentum with him. So when, when you're sitting in your chair, I know mm. you're talking about being patient, but could you explain to yourself why it just wasn't flowing so well at that no, point? I mean, even Steve Peters can't even sell it to, you know, he can't even cure me of that one and, and nobody can, you know, he just, he's just said to me, look, it's okay searching for perfection, but sometimes, you know, I have a bit of perspective. It's not always possible, and you've just got to hang in there. And sometimes when you think you're playing that bad, ask one of your close friends, and they'll probably tell you it wasn't that bad. So I just have to be a little bit less harsh on myself, and I've done that tonight. And I thought my attitude through the whole match was, was good, you know. That's what I was really happy with. So even if I'd have lost tonight, you yeah, had been very disappointed, but I'd have been like, happy that I hadn't sabotaged my own success, and I'd give it everything. And... You know, and uh, and you and you live to fight another day because there's, there's there's a tournament next week and a week after. So you just have to just it's like a bus. You just stand in the queue and hopefully you get you get your you get your chance. You know. And I tell you what, it was really genuinely lovely to see the two of you having that conversation at the end because yeah. you've talked about how much you admire Marco. I think everybody in the game does. He's a, he's a really underestimated player, isn't he? He's I mean, not by me and not by any of these boys. They know how good he mm. is. And if he'd have beat me, I'd have just said to him, you know, and I, and I get on really well with Mark Selburn there, so I've got no problem with Mark. Um, we've done a bit of touring, but I'd have said to him afterwards, believe you can win because I think with Marco, he has the game. Mm. Yeah. With, with just that, believe, just have that bit of killer instinct, you know. And with, without giving it, what, what was you saying, Marco? Was it just about what? the kick? Or the two, no, or no. I said first of all, I said the kick. I said you were robbed. And he went, well, you had one. I went, yeah, yeah but yours yeah. was game ball, you know. And um, and then I said, if you let him your backswing, I said, because if you have, I says, I said it looks really good. I <laughs> said, I know you're like, struggling a bit with it. I said, but they're hitting the back of the hole, but like like how Trump hits it, you know, like mm. you can hear it cracking. And he said, yeah, I've lent for it a bit. I said, I've been watching you, and I was like, keep doing it. I said, because it's you know because. Um, but it just shows you we're all t tinkering. But um, I've watched him this week, and he looked like he'd been struggling. And even he said he's had his B and his C game. But with that technique, he looks much more like he's a m more aggressive player.